All right, everybody, what's up? And welcome to another wonderful episode of Super Gen's Nintendo Nation. I have a couple of shout outs here for the beginning of this wonderful episode. Number one, I would love to shout out someone that I just found out about today, Nintendo Force. Do either of you know what this is? No. This is Nintendo Power's successor. This is a bunch of people who got together, started a Kickstarter Get the power! to make a Nintendo, Nintendo Power, power. 2, pretty much. Called Nintendo Force. No, I, I think know. I've heard of it, but I didn't like know anything about it, and that's what I spent the whole time you guys were doing Super So it's actually Gen made by the same publisher that not, actually... Not true at all. It's oh, a okay. bunch of individual people. It? Yeah, it was. It was on Kickstarter. They started it, all this stuff. Now it's on Patreon. It's something like eight ninety nine. You get two issues. You get two physical Dude, issues. Paperback so, and, oh, and a digital. My, so, my question is, is, how are they getting away with this without being sued by... I would like to talk about the moral I have no idea, but yeah, they're know, through this real. other thing <laughs> called Mag something. I have no idea. Oh, like but, morally speaking, it's not gaming. right. On PS3? No, not the game. Okay. But, um, yeah, so just check it out. Uh, Nintendo Force magazine. Seems super cool. They're only on issue 20-something, I, I mean, think. What happens and they only they do it bi-monthly, so it's every two months. So January what? and February have an issue, March, April have an what issue. What happens, so though, when I want to start... Six issues a month. What? what happens when I want to start my own Nintendo magazine? You, you just know? go can for it. Start a ki- yeah, start a Kickstarter. I'm and serious. Then like, anybody money. can just walk off the street and just be like, yeah, you know or what? I'm going to use Nintendo, all Nintendo like products, names trademarks and i'm just gonna create my own magazine what do you think what what do you stop what stops people from doing that on youtube yeah that's absolutely what nothing do it right go now. ahead and do it that's okay. literally what we're doing all right fine um so yeah first shout out those guys uh nintendo, nintendo force check it out it looks super freaking cool and i'm about to subscribe and buy all the bad because you just want to start collecting all of them um, oh man! We go just, back to we last do, week's dude, we just I know, talked I know. We just started collecting. I want to collect them all. All these Nintendo powers here are mine, so I need to get all Nintendo powers one through two. Get the power! Yeah, I think it was two hundred eighty-five inches of Nintendo power. Anyway, and all then right, second shout good. out, Greg Miller. Everybody who sees this video and gets to this point, tweet at him. My oh. handle. I need to have a conversation with all him, three, and of I'm you. leaving it at that. All yeah. three. All three of I'm you proud. who are viewing this part, and tweet at Greg Miller at Falukaduke. And Jeff, that includes you. Right? That Jeff? does, Jeff. Jeff, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out on every no, wait, single video I now. Throw this out you, there too. you burned yourself by leaving that so, comment. All three, you, you will both get this. So we were standing out on Tyler's front porch. It's too bad Tyler wasn't on this yet. And there were two bugs that were just flying up at like this light. And Zach named both of them Jeff and Carmichael. So every time we talk about Jeff, I think of Jeff the bug that was flying up there. I just had to throw that out there. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff we think of you more than no, we, yeah, think we think of, of a the bug. real life Jeff. But yeah. the first Jeff that comes to my mind is a little fly. We, can, we care more about you, viewer Jeff, than we do Jeff and Carmichael, the bugs. <laughs> just I just let you know. But, Jeff, Jeff, I'm holding you to this. Tweet Greg Miller my uh, Twitter Greg handle. Miller. So, just do it. Greg Miller. All right. Time to, uh, well, yeah, he's at Game Over Greggy, is his, uh, okay. you know, and I'm calling him out right now. So, right. just saying. Him. Um, you left the calling we'll, card. We'll like, put that at the bottom of the screen Whoa. right here. Yeah. You so you did like it. the persona calling card right now. He's got a palace, and you're trying to bust in. I guess that's is that how palaces is. work in that game. He would have the answer. Dude, I just unlocked the second baton pass. I have no idea what I'm doing All in right, that game. We need to get to the Nintendo. Come news. on, let's do it. All right, Nintendo news. We're starting it out. Ed Edmund Edmund McMillan announces his new game. Okay. He is the genius behind is it? Super Meat Boy and Binding of Isaac. Yeah. Which I was playing Binding of Isaac the other day. Finally made it to level three out of five, three out of six, uh, yes. four out of six, four out of six. I that is like one too. of literally the hardest games I've ever played. Wow, you are so good at video games. No, I suck. That's my point. No, here's the thing too. I went to Best Buy maybe like a week or so ago, not that long Ooh. ago, but they had the launch edition still where you get all the bonus. Stuff. Oh really? That's so I was awesome. very much contemplating it, but I was like, if they still it's have these this far out, it's gonna like drop and there's gonna be a sale on this, and I'll grab it. I definitely uh, want to grab it, but I was impressed that there's still also. Those if you guys are into OG the physical copies. versions, want the kind of like the more harder-ish ones to find, because I know my store ran out of all of them. We only have go the Best Buy. We have the second prints. Go to Best Buy. Also, Cave Story Plus, also by Nykalis. They're publishing it, releasing, it, doing this. I saw that. They have a bunch of stuff that's coming up here in the news. Keep an eye out for that. Just throwing it out there right now. June twentieth. Maybe. Jaloon twentieth. Jaloon twentieth. Um. So anyway, yeah. So he announced his new game called The End Is Nigh. Okay. All right. I saw this here. Um, you did see it. Did you see the trailer? I saw the tweet. That was it. Okay. I wanted to show you the trailer too before him, but I completely forgot. It's okay. Um, we'll watch it after. It looks really cool, but it looks like Meat Boy Part Two, where like this, it's I'm set intrigued. up the same way as Meat Boy, where we have to jump and avoid the spikes and like get. Do through you and play all stuff. as Meat Boy? No, you don't. You play. Plays Meat Boy. I don't know who you play as. I forget his name. But it's Meat awesome. Girl. But it's like, did you see the trailer, Brian? Meat Anybody? Okay. Spin. So Girl. he <laughs> <laughs> don't go to that website. Um. So. <laughs> Unless you want to, I guess. I don't know. 
Uh, is it still around? Probably. I'm going to throw back to Zach again. When we would go to like the <laughs> Apple stores and Zach would put every computer on Meatspin and walk out the door. <laughs> all right. Shout out. All right. For real, though, everybody just go to Meatspin.com, okay? <laughs> Please don't. It's for all the is latest that? gaming news. No, don't do it. Right up there with Island? Yeah. Right up there with Penn okay, Island, yeah. It's right up there. Oh, me yeah, at spin. Uh, that's why we kept getting that other website. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Um. Anyway, yeah. So the trailer looked awesome. It's hilarious. The way it starts. <laughs> the way it starts out is that it's like it's just the end of the world, like all this stuff, all this destruction, and this guy pops up, and it's like he's twitching, right? He's like twitch streaming, and so he's got his little video thing up in the corner, and this guy pops up. He's like, "All right, guys, today we're gonna play some retro game," and he like has his cartridge, sticks it into this this game, mm-hmm. starts playing this game. He's like, "All right, here he's like, we're at level one." He's like, "Okay." Mm-hmm. He starts like filling out the controls. He's like, "Okay, A is jump, you know, left. Okay, I'm walking. I got it." Okay, cool. He plays to level one. He's like, "All right, level one done." And then he gets to level two, and he's like, "All right, level two is easy." Right at the end of level two, he dies mm-hmm. in the game. Gets an error message on the screen. Everything starts bugging out. He has no idea what's going on. He's freaking out. He's like, oh my god, okay, the cartridge is broken. The cartridge is broken. So he pulls out, starts blowing on the cartridge. It doesn't work. Puts it back, and this is all like in the view of a Twitch streamer. Like you're watching this guy Twitch this. Okay. And he's freaking out. Then it like the whole like thing just like explodes. Like it's the end of the world. It goes into him. Hit, like it literally I think explodes? The, yeah. I think the point of this game is to you, because your collectibles are a bunch of cartridges, like in the game, like okay. in the world. I think you play as a like a streamer in this game trying to find games to stream. I mean, I'm intrigued. That's awesome. You have to watch the trailer. The trailer was seriously so on point. Ryan this trailer was absolutely himself. incredible. Yeah, exactly. I've never wanted to do anything more. As he as can do that. Myself. Um, it looks very, very similar to Super Mario. Like, like I life. said, um, the trailer was on point though. So definitely real life watch the trailer for this game because it looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and see. That. Um, yeah, that's, I'll show it to everybody after this. Um, that's the real question it, though. Is like when when are they gonna put Second Life on the Nintendo Switch? I don't think that's a that's real not game. a bad idea. Is that a real game? Oh yeah. Oh, because your first life is so good, you need a second life. Yeah, uh, I thought that was just that's the office what, where Dwight was also for. a paper sales place. Yeah, and was, but he's like, it's pretty much the exact same as my first life, except I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> and then his character just like flies away. <laughs> that and chat roulette need to come. God, on I love switch. that show. That is um, chat I wish we could chat roulette on Switch. Oh my god. Um, yeah. But yeah, okay, so, and then they said it also may get a physical release, happen. which is awesome because Nike Callis also did, like I said, Binding of Isaac, which was his other game, so. Could yeah, get no, a physical That'd be awesome. All right, next up. Wait, is it a Switch exclusive? Uh, no. It's, uh, it comes to Steam in, like, a couple of weeks. Nice. And then coming to Switch for sure. Other consoles not yet announced. Okay, cool. So, um, could be a Switch console exclusive. All right, next up we got Konami. All right, Konami states that there is a lot of internal discussions about the games that they'd like to bring over to the Switch. Okay. Cool, awesome. There's Fuck st- Konami. This is their first state. This <laughs> is their first state. We're not on the that. re-restates what, like, or anything like that. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. still pissed about the Kojima thing. Yeah. Um, they the mentioned... you played a Metal Gear game? Uh, Probably years. You played. Metal, I think you I played think a Snake on Smash. That's the last. I think time the last. I know. I, well, yeah, that too. I think the last time I played it was like Snake Three. Really? Eater. That's well, Snake Eater. Eater. Metal Gear Solid Three, Snake Eater. Yeah. That was going on PS2. Yeah. That's one of my favorite ones. But we yeah. can't talk about that on the show because it's you know so. Well, we can. So. It it's actually taboo. started. Uh, Snake started on a Nintendo platform called yeah, the Nintendo Metal Entertainment Gear. System. Metal Gear. Metal Gear One and Two. G R. Metal Gear 1 and 2 were on Nintendo Entertainment yeah, System. That's yep. true. And then Metal Gear Solid happened for the PS1. Little history fact lesson fact of the day. And actually, we're going to have a little fact box pop up right here at the bottom of the screen. Just, you know, tell them the history behind Metal Gear. So. Yeah. I and then it. we'll have the Wikipedia article just scroll over our faces yep. in case you right. want to read it. Right here. Exactly. Right here. It's going to happen right now. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then, so they state, yeah, they have interest. The, they talk about it all the time about how much they want to bring stuff to the Switch. Um, They mentioned, and this was all an interview with this guy. I think his name was like. <gasps> Wait, what's Mike- the new Metal Gear? Metal Gear Survive? Yeah. Is that coming to Switch? Probably not. I hope Probably that, I hope that not. game doesn't come out at all. Um, <laughs> okay. But, yeah, this guy, I think his name was like Mike Tendo 64 or something like that. 69. Is this his name? Was interviewing <laughs> some lead guy at uh, Konami America, maybe, or something like that. And they were talking about it. And this guy who he's interviewing says, he says, yeah, like, yeah, we understand that there's love for Castlevania. Castlevania is probably the biggest series that we're, that we're focused on. Mm-hmm. People want a lot of games. We have the new Netflix show coming. There's a lot of hype behind it. And he, like, specifically said, like, hey, we see that there's a demand for this game. And we know that. Like, we know how much people want this. Didn't say, oh, yeah, we're working on this game or we plan to bring Talking a game or something. Yeah. It's it just, TV hey, series. we see the demand for, for the series and we know that people love it. Mm-hmm. Um, next up, he said, he's like, yeah, he's like, and then they... He's like, yeah, we definitely treated Bomberman really, really well, the way we did that on the Switch. Um, and he said, you know, we plan to do that with our other games. And speaking of Bomberman, um, it said that they, he said that they plan to continue support for the future of it, which is awesome. And he says, well, he can't say all the details. The update 1.5, 
we'll add more stages and more costumes and more characters. Mm-hmm. And he says, depending on how that goes, we'll dictate their plans to see how the future goes. They're going to have to see how well that does and then move on to something else. Fair enough. But it's like, hey, that's awesome. You are completely supporting this game. More free DLC. That's all, that's really good to hear. Like, more plans of I beat Super Bomberman, but it's like, hey, here's more missions, here's more planets, here's more characters, here's more everything. Yeah. It's like, hey, you could have just saved this really Super Bomberman too. remember, Konami. You know what I mean? Less yeah. is more. I don't think so. I think they just need to bring back Kojima. <laughs> I don't think that'll ever I, happen, though. Yeah, that's... That, I mean, that sounds, that sounds like it would be, like, a really solid plan on there. But, but I, I, I agree, but I also don't agree because... Well, Kojima would never Kojima, Exactly, because we wouldn't have gotten Death Stranding if he wouldn't have left. Yeah. And then I'd be really sad without Death Stranding. How about PT? Where's PT? Gone. Who cares? Vapor. What? eBay exclusive. Get out of here. Who cares? We're getting Death Stranding, which is going to be way better than Silent Hills. Yeah. And we got Resident Evil that was pretty much Silent Hills point eight editions. Right so. here. Um, so yeah, so that's just what Konami's up to. They see that there's hype for the Switch and there's hype for games that they still have rights to and so they're probably going to make some games. So Castlevania game probably coming in the work sometime soon. Next up, we have ARMS. The reviews are in. All right. Pretty much. Super Gen review is in. Everyone likes it. Except for Ryan. Yeah. Who hasn't played it yet. Well, I, I, haven't, even, I haven't even played it yet. So... We'll reserve judgment. I give it a solid, probably like two out of ten. I haven't right. played it yet, but I'll give it a two out of ten. <laughs> exactly, that's good. That's actually that's um, pretty generous. Yeah, that's pretty. Good I think so. Yeah. For not having played it. Yeah. Um, so here we go. I just pulled some like the big guys off of Metacritic here. It has a seventy-eight on Metacritic right okay. now, which is pretty good. Yeah, I um, can see that. A lot of people like it. Uh, Games Radar Plus gave it a ninety. Nintendo Life ninety. Uh, Game Informer eighty-three. Polygon eighty. IGN eighty. Uh, Game Explained wow. gave it a like did a lot, which is awesome. Uh, what? Almost what is what kind of like scale is that? Like so liked cool. it a lot. There's, that's what, what that's what we give it. Is like, that more than liked it a little. Yeah. So there's this sure like though? hated. It's like hated it a lot. Like, liked hated it. it. Liked it. Liked it a lot. Loved it. Loved it a lot. Liked it much. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I liked freaking it love Game Explained though, dude. Those people are awesome. And then Easy Allies gave it a nice uh, three point five out of five, which then you can round up to a seven out of five. I give it a. It, I give it a. It's all right. <laughs> okay, cool. So. A game you've never played? Yeah. It's aight. It's aight. Cool. So that's Splatoon, um, or I mean, that's ARMS, rather. But I'm uh, still super pumped for it. I think it's going to be great. Seeing those re- reviews, reading over them, uh, the embargo, I think, lifted just today, actually, so you can go and see all the, mm-hmm. the ARMS reviews and stuff that people have up on YouTube. Um, yep. It looks awesome. It looks super cool. I'm super excited for it still. And everybody says that it has not gotten stale when they've been playing it for, like, a month, and it still hasn't gotten stale, so that's awesome. How have they been playing it for a month, though? I thought Because Nintendo shipped it out to them early. Because they're like actually famous people. Um, so then next up we have Splatoon. The Joy-Cons and Pro Controller were finally officially confirmed I saw that. for the North American people release. That's awesome. I'm tempted. I'm cool. not going to lie. Way to go. Green on the Definitely Pro not on the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller looks super ugly, but the Joy-Cons look awesome. Lie, I would buy it. And that's part of my goal to have every color set of Joy-Cons out there. Uh, what a go, freaking nerd. Happen, I know. Dude, talking uh, about collecting. Talk, talking about collecting, like we did yeah, last week, I need to seriously. collect all the Joy Cons, and then I'm problem. gonna sell those Joy Cons <laughs> to buy the new Joy Cons, and then I'm gonna have to buy them back. You got a serious problem with that? I do. Tell me about seriously, it. I know, yeah. dude. We tried to cover this last week. Um, next <laughs> up, we have uh, Pokemon. We just had the direct yesterday morning for Pokemon themes of stuff. We have an entire video of on it that is probably live by the now time. Now we should do you another one and re-release it, just like what Pokemon's doing. They have you mean like Pokemon's done stuff. since 1998? Exactly. So why are we not re-releasing more videos? Because we're better than that. Pokemon's not better than that. Pokemon's successful. I know, but we're better than. Hey, Pokemon. we already had a Pokemon podcast. Thank you. Pokecast. Oh, I love it. That's gonna be that's the next a really thing. actually here's, here's tr- a trick, original though. name. Is, I'm sure there's no other podcast out there. I, I, I really don't think about it though, because you could hear us talk about it. But so they're re- they're oh they're re-releasing Pokemon DX. Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> So you just witnessed a heart attack happen Ladies live on camera. Right Woo. There you go. All right. What did you just say? Okay, so Pokemon Pokemon's being re-released. Okay. Uh, DX. Pokken. Yeah, Pokemon. 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 Correct. Pokemon tournament being Gold released. Golden Silver yeah. coming yeah. to the 3DS. You can play them on there. Dumb. <laughs> Thank you. And Sun and Moon are gonna have Ultra versions. What? 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 Whatever happened to Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Those are on the regular DS. Yeah. But these are the originals. It's like the OG and download oh, so for ten dollars. Like reskin. Tug at your heart. Not even reskin. No, it literally is the again. exact oh. same thing. Same glitches and same everything. Really? Mm-hmm. For ten dollars though. Would you? No. Absolutely not. I <laughs> own the real thing. Okay. Well, there you go. Are your batteries still good now? What about yeah. the nine year old kid who doesn't own the real thing though? He's gonna want it. 
Fuck that kid. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nintendo Nintendo doesn't care He's about you, video right well, now. That's the thing is like, know, man. Okay, they so care about the kid. Have you ever the money they're gonna the get. general tendency that Nintendo has to actually treat children better than us. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, we like, children but I don't think so because I'm really excited for them. So I think they're treating me just fine. <laughs> How do they have the audacity to do such a no, thing? No, wait. Can we get into know? the moral conundrum of this? What? I don't know. We there is no moral conundrum. You tried bringing that up in the other video. That <laughs> doesn't exist. There is nothing morally since wrong when, with re-releasing a game. care about the kids. You know what I mean? All I'm saying all is about what about us. the kids? You know? What about the kids? Dude, what about all the remasters that come out on every console now? <laughs> No one has a problem with those. I, I just want to. I would love I, to see Darksiders re-release. Okay, I want to think. I want to. I, I want to think about this though for a second. Like back when we had our N sixty four, did we have remastered versions of NES games? No. No, we just had the next iteration. Exactly. Let's Where's go back to that, dude. Yeah, dude. Try telling the people who are selling their. We games are going back to selling their remakes. It. No. <laughs> try the people who are selling Shut their up. remakes to stop <laughs> selling them. No, um, I see what you mean, though, to where we're just continually pushing yeah, out original new content. Yeah, it's just like rather than original new rehashing. content instead of all this rehashing shit. But it is original. No, that's the, the thing. thing with Pokemon, like, though, is it is, a lot of it is original where it's content that you've no, never it's gotten not, before. not anymore. It's so stale now. It's the it's, same thing over and over again. You know, again. it's like you drop that potato. So then you want to just stop the making the Pokemon games. The last time I played a, a solid Pokemon game that actually felt like it was a different Pokemon game, probably Silver. Pokemon Black. That was pretty. Really? God, see, I told you, do people play Pokemon Jack? Black, and we just didn't. I Actually, believe... Black 2 wasn't that hey. bad. Oh, no, we're not going to say it. What? See, Nothing. You know what this is like, though? It's like, <laughs> it's like, let's say you were in middle school, okay, and you were eating your Lay's potato chips on the couch, and you dropped one through, mm -hmm. and now you're our age, and you go back and find that potato chip. It's stale. That's the same thing. Like, you drop, you drop that Pokemon in the couch, and you're pulling it back out now? It's pretty stale. I totally agree. And you if know? they were releasing Sun and Moon... Again, really literally Pokemon the exact stale. same, then it'd be stale. I totally um, agree. But this is refreshed. This is like if you took that potato chip, dipped it in some melted <laughs> chocolate, pulled it out, let it cool for a little bit, and then you eat it, then has that hey, taste. No, but um, <laughs> no. I, I think I think the big thing for me and why I remember Black was that we started all playing it again in high school when Black came out. It was, I think it was like Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum is what we started with. Yeah. And then, like, Black came out. We were like, whoa, man, a whole new Pokemon game. We were all, like, super pumped for it. And then we all played it, and we like, were like, this game's kind of not that great. I know? agree. But, I, I mean, I had a good time with it still. You catch a merry people. Yeah. That's, when we got, like, that's when we got, like, super competitive when we had uh, PBR, you know, Pokemon Battle Revolution. Oh, I thought you meant oh. Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> uh, yeah, brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon, actually. <laughs> PBR brought to you by PBR, <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 What, that, that's That's actually a system Beer? that we, yeah, beer. Beer and, and Pokemon Tournament? And a rated E game for everyone. <laughs> I love e it. Games. So if you want to hear more of our detailed thoughts on PBR, the Pokemon Direct PBR. and PBR, check out the other video that we have specifically for the Pokemon Direct and our uh, reaction slash discussion involved in that. Um, next up, we have our good pals over at Sony Interactive. I think that's what they're saying. Are they called. making a game for the Switch? Uh, no, but that'd be awesome. They call out the Nintendo Switch <laughs> as being awesome yeah. for Nintendo. And that they reconfirmed that they have no plans to support or <laughs> release a Vita for the West. A so, Vita? Great. What? What's a Vita? A Vita? Exactly. That's what everybody else is saying, too. So the PS Vita is officially dead over here in the West. It is not selling, and they don't care, and they're done with it. That's so um, sad, dude. Way to go for Nintendo a... Switch, they said, for being able to penetrate that market. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that's the sad part about the Vita is that, you know, I felt like it was the a Vita. real contender and, you know, uh, so let's get into why competing did the Vita fail? with the actual DS uh, handheld consoles. Because, I mean, like, can we get what into... else is there? You know what I mean? Yeah, can... Cell phones. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. Can we get into the moral stipulations on why the Vita failed? Dude, what is up with you and morality today? <laughs> oh my god, dude. You need no, to go to but, church. No, well, I feel like we this can't really talk about it. this because it's it's Sony, but it is really sad, though, because it, it was an actual... No, here's why we can talk about it. Why did it was they, highly innovative handheld yeah. console. It had every, like tons of things going for it. So know? why did the 3DS flourish and the Vita just went to nothing? Because I think they targeted kids more so than anyone else. I guess, yeah. I think that was really their... That was a 3D. I don't think it was the 3D. No, I think it just had better not. games. It's all about it, 3D. It had better games. People wanted to play the games that were on the 3DS, and there was no real big titles out on the Vita that anybody really wanted. Right. 
No one cares. I think people didn't know that they wanted the Vita titles, and they still don't know that. Yeah, well, that's and the thing. It's like I think for the West, there. totally agree. In Japan, though, the Vita is still like thriving. I mean, like, come the on, Vita, Wipeout. New Vitas oh, are what? still outselling new Xbox Ones in Japan. Borderlands Two, Resistance. Yeah, Vita, Dude, Killzone version. Vita, Uncharted Vita. They put all their big franchises Golden on this, and it's still Assassin's failed. Creed Vita. Hello, hey, Assassin's Creed are best in 2D. There you go. No, 2.5D. We'll take that back. So. Anyway, just really cool seeing Sony like praise Nintendo for the for the Nintendo Switch, being like, "Oh yeah, this is cool. Like, way to go, you guys are knocking it out of the park. That's awesome." Love to see the like. The oh, now they now they come around. But here's They're what like, I would ooh, like though. You know, ooh, we have the chance to make some money. Ooh, you know, like we love you, Nintendo. You know, were they morally obligated to do that? Though, do I, feel, I, I really do feel like. <laughs> what do you think uh, the moral stipulation of that is? <laughs> just kissing a little butt there, you know, just like kissing a little butt. Okay, that's how I feel about it. Kissing a little so, butt. Yeah. Good. They're like, oh, you're ooh, cash cow. Up. Come here, baby. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> what were you going to say? Do you remember? No, I don't even know. Yeah. It probably wasn't even worth it. All right, cool. Next up, we've got some FIFA 18 news. Nice. All right. So it actually has 18 now attached to it. It does. So it officially has 18 attached to it, which is great. However, it is missing the support of the Frostbite engine. They're using some other engine okay. for it. Nice. Which is the legacy, engine. the legacy engine, yeah, which is like... Shit. Whatever. Who cares? When you're playing it at 720p resolution on handheld mode, yeah. who cares? It was probably just easier to make going from docking to to TV. Doesn't it? Okay, they just want to do the path quick, not to just like yeah. break away from what we're talking sure, about. Sure, it's doc- not like you've never done that before. Docking but. is just such a strange word. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I guess docking. it is. Docking. Like, well, well, what else would you like me to say? Would you like me to say inserting? What's that? Would you like me to say inserting? Yeah. Is that better? Please, thank you. <laughs> From now on. Slide in. I'll go back and edit it. And then every every docks. time you say docking before this, Ryan has to censor. I gotta edit it. Yeah. Okay. He has to put it. It's such a dirty there. word. It is a dirty I don't think word. it is. I, I think it's very inappropriate. So, you know, there's kids watching. So we're gonna I don't like think there is. Those but, out, so. Um, so, yeah. So, it's got the legacy engine. And then there's also journey mode is being taken out. Like now, I am an avid <laughs> FIFA player up until FIFA 17. This journey mode was just added for FIFA 17. So you can play as, All like, right. one of the little journey guys? like Yeah, you can play like the, with the long scarf and stuff. Yeah. It actually imports your save from journey, and just, so you have the <laughs> oh, same long nice. scarf. And then yeah. you just, like... Oh. Even on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> and then you, Nintendo. like, just float around. Yep. And then you get elect- uh, Electron Plankton. Sure. Electron oh. Plankton, too? yeah. Another? Elect- was yeah, that- from Flow. Was that from Flow? No, that was Electro like Progressive? Plankton? No, but what then there was flower. There was this. flower, flower. Flow. I forget what that game was. The <laughs> electro playing game. Um, but anyway, so shout out Journey to Lair on PS3. Lair What's on that? PS3. Dude. Lair on PS3. Shout out. We're bringing it back. Play, get it out of here. Actually, no. That they're putting we that on the Nintendo Switch. Exactly. We should petition for Lair to get on Switch. On the Nintendo okay. Switch. No, for real though. Petition. Can you imagine Let's though. Know. So for like those just standing who are there with podcast. your like PS3 motion controller, but so those who are making their own podcast, okay. All right, and you're like flying the dragon. Yeah, you got to. I've you know, never played count. this game that you're talking about. You don't want to do it. That's all. That's no. I'm line. saying like it's actually really good. You should invest in like buying a PS3 and then going out and then buying a copy of Lair. Yeah, if you can find it. Okay. Get, hey, it, it, it might have a double a, pack with Haze. Sure. Oh, Haze good. was terrible. I remember playing no? Haze. Haze oh terrible. my God, Haze, uh, dude! I remember that. Game. All right, Haze we should just do a whole video on throwback PS3 games. You know who made Lair? Who's that? I don't even know who that is. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Perfect. They're in the headlights. <laughs> like I'm sure there was like on I'm sure there was even a glitch code. No. Oh, I'm sure there was even like a little. Was my first ever T-rated game that I ever played. It was Rogue Squadron? I, I, wow. I'm pretty sure in Lair there was a cheat code where you could like put in a little code and then get an X-wing instead of a dragon. Really? Yeah. That's cool. You, you might, might be playing this right now. Fanatic, Actually, dude. right here we're gonna put up some footage of that <laughs> actual uh, cheat code. After we put up footage of you at the lake. Dang oh, it. And then after you have Wikipedia, scroll down on our face. <laughs> this video. Right here, yeah, Wikipedia no. article. I, I'm sure of I Lair. started it, but I was so never a big Star Wars fan. <laughs> All right, Star Wars is a dragon's coming through. Star right Wars now. is kind of dumb. All right, and then we're going to have like a dragon fly across the screen. It's going to eat and you then, and take you off. Yeah. Hey, you remember that Pokemon uh, plush video we did? Yeah. When Mew was supposed to fly across the screen? <laughs> <That was so laughs> okay, remember remember, remember that one that one part of the game? Uh, in Pokemon Snap, when the Mew's like in the bubble, like we gotta like have that like just come in like right in front of us right now. Okay. 
So that means in the Make Consider happen. it done. Um, so to st- we are still on the FIFA news. Okay. Um, to finish off the, new the journey mode, <laughs> which is yeah the single player like story mode. Okay. Didn't play FIFA Stars. 17 myself personally. Was the first year that I that I missed since like 2011 Not or something. Good. All right. So I had to ask my resident FIFA expert Clark January. Okay. From Games for Scrubs. Let's give him a call on YouTube. Check it out at Games for Scrubs on Twitter. I sometimes am over there sometimes doing stuff. I think you're calling him out Check now. it out. Okay. Calling him out. Greg I need a video response. This is go follow <laughs> Games for Scrubs. Go watch his videos. Some of them are pretty good. Lots of multiplayer stuff. Whatever. Clark, Ask I want him. a video response. Diehard FIFA fan, right? We all love soccer. We all love watching it. Whatever. Live by the game. Ask him about it. I shoot him a text message when I'm putting this together. And I'm like, dude, what was journey mode? I don't even know what that was. And his response exactly was... It should be one word. Garbage. It fucking sucked. There you go. And I said, okay, cool. He goes, it was the single player mode. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, was it any good, though? I said, you said it sucked, but is that just because you were bad at it? And he goes, no. It was terrible. Mm -hmm. I said, awesome. So what we're missing from the FIFA 18 version on Nintendo Switch is the different different engine, which is the legacy engine, which is the same as the older consoles. Who cares? And then Journey Mode, which was a mode that was shit anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's like, cool, we're not really missing out. So I might actually pick this one up. So they watchdog it. What? They watchdog it. It's cool like watchdogs. We need to make that a thing, the watchdogs. Effect. The watch. I love now, it. Dude, you watch dog that. So. So. Now, what about the morality behind that? We did that. Now, let me know about the morality <laughs> behind the Rabbids Amiibo, because that's our next I article that. here. You actually sent me the picture <laughs> the, of that. Um, I did. I don't know if it's leaked it or fake Ubisoft. or whatever, so, um, yeah, you talked to Eves Gilmaw. I did. Um, we but yeah, so the Rabbids Amiibo was supposedly happening. There were little uh, little figures, you know, little, um, not PNC, what is it? PVC. Little PVC figures, you know, of what supposedly looked like could Poly potentially Pro? be. Um, amiibo, and I don't know, it looked like little figures, but it could be amiibo, cool, just throwing it out there, Rabbids amiibo could be happening, and it's like, at that point, that's really going to be the test I've already for seen them, so. wanting to collect all of the amiibos out there, Here's that's the thing, though, like too. the hardest one. They reminded me of like the Pokemon Rumble amiibos, like they might be smaller. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, just because that's because they have like those black bases and stuff. They Which all could like be prototypes. Amiibo, but, but, yeah, yeah, exactly, they could put the real amiibo base on there and be something. Alright, so like I mentioned earlier in the show, we've got Cave Story Plus is getting a retail release, um, like I said, I purchased June wow. 20th. That, what you get with that, like the same thing with Binding of Isaac, you got a bunch of cool stuff, you got some stickers, you got the instruction book that you got, you know, some goodies. Mm-hmm. Um, what you're getting with this, in the form of goodies, is you're getting one of three random keychains. Okay. Which is weird, so you because you're only get getting once. So you need to buy three versions of the games and hope to for God a random key you chain. get a random keychain that matches what you need. Um, so okay, that's, I'm already going to say I'm going to buy this, because you know why? The secondary market for these keychains is going to be through the roof for those who want to collect them. Yeah, I know. There it is. I'd buy them. I'm going to buy the other two that I don't get. So. Oh, my God. Then this you also is, get, you want to hear something even more ridiculous, dumb. then you get a microfiber pouch that the keychain comes in. And I hope there's six different randomized pouches. <laughs> Nobody not, cares. Next up, you get a full color instruction guide, yeah, instruction booklet for the game, which is really cool. I think they're doing it again because the one they did for um, Binding of Isaac was straight up a rip-off carbon, co- co- carbon copy of the original Legend of Zelda one on the NES. Okay. So you flip through it and it's got like the same like font, the same drawings of the enemies, the same colors, Only like the you same would everything. Notice that. It's so cool. Tons of people noticed it. And that's why a bunch of people bought it, bought that launch date one. So that was super cool. And then this one is doing it, and I don't know what their inspiration for this is. I don't know if it's Zelda again, but it would be awesome if it was Metroid, because they're both platformers. Mm-hmm. So if they did a straight rip of the Metroid instruction booklet for this same colors way layout and stuff that'd be really cool and then the ultimate i'm not but that'd be really cool the ultimate i'm calling it the (laughs) ultimate uh piece that you get in this is a gamecube disc wow that is og disc the soundtrack the signed by game. Miyamoto himself. It's not really a small one. It's not really a GameCube disc, but it is a three-inch oh. mini disc. Cannot play be played in GameCube because GameCube does not play CDs. But it is the exact size of your GameCube, and you better believe we're gonna have a video up of me testing it out in a GameCube and seeing. What we happens. should also do a video of us getting a record player and just putting on a record player and see what happens. Yeah, uh, no, because I don't want to scratch just it. On a record no. Player, though. no, I don't. No, want, I don't want to damage though. this. Have you ever? You haven't done that before? Oh, I have. It works. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to risk it. And if you turn it upside down. That's better. It, it That's how you get a better quality. Yeah. So yeah, so those are all the goodies you get. I think it's only thirty bucks retail or something like that. I pre-ordered it on Amazon. You get twenty percent discount if you have Prime. Speaking Speaking of of voice, and so if you get Gamers Club Unlocked, you get also twenty percent cheaper. I'm surprised you got it because Amazon Prime's taken away for collector's editions and for Toys to Life. I think. Yeah, no, but this isn't a collector's edition. This is a launch edition. Still. And It'll get oh, Amazon is taking away Toys to Life, but you know it's not the Best Buy. I with know, that so GCU. Best Buy still owning Amazon, so. GameStop. 
Kmart, Target. Right. All of them. Right, Best Buy. Best Buy is the TJ place to Max. go. TJ Maxx. Toys R Us. Best Buy is the place to go for... Uh, Toys R Us is also pretty good because they usually no. do... Oh. Yeah, they do because they oh. do like the three for 30 deal. Brought to you, you know by why? Toys R Us. Because the price is so high. Yeah, I know, but be, they always have them in stock. We got a new sponsor, actually. It's uh, Toys R Us. Uh, what great. up? What up, True? Jeffries, come on on camera. All right, he's a little camera shy. We'll keep him on. <laughs> Sorry, Jeffrey. Um, <laughs> next up. This was something um, we also already have a previous video up about, so you can take a look at that. I was not involved in that video, though, because sorry, sorry. I was moving a couch that is now going to have to be moved again yeah. very soon. That's how you and that cool. is... Who are you going to get to help you with that? Uh, I hope to God you, because you're the only person <laughs> I know with a truck. All right. Um, hey, I said I'll pay you. Anyway, uh, I'm Game talking, of course, about Nintendo's online service. Mm -hmm. Which, like I said, I was not a part of that video, so I'm going to give you my thoughts real quick, because we already know your thoughts, Ryan. Give it to us. Wrote some bullet points down. We got it. It's coming out in 2018. Awesome. Thought it was coming out this fall. Don't care that we're getting an extended free trial for all the people who get it on Black Friday and for Christmas. Great. No, Don't know when in 2018. It could be freaking December 31st, 2018, for all we know. At 11.59. Exactly. Who cares? Can I play Call of Duty Dubba Dubba 2 on it? <laughs> yes. That's all I care about. That actually Dubba is the Dubba. next article that I'm getting to. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. Um, wow. Bullet point B. I have bullet online bullet. lobby voice yeah, chat question. Do you have via <laughs> Nintendo's phone app. Did you use bullet bills as bullet points in this? No. I didn't, use Nintendo bullet, I didn't use bullet Freaking points. I didn't use bullet points. I used letters. You blew it. You blew it. Good band. Um, so anyway, yeah, they uh, online lobby voice chat, whatever, cool. Have to wait till the app comes out to see. Hopefully that's at E3 next week. You know, figuring it out. We'll, uh, we'll let you know. Next up, number C. I got Classic C, Games Library. Classic being Games Library. Being dubbed Nesflix. <laughs> Nesflix. Are you covers. serious? It's, so, uh, so, you know, you Netflix. just get your... You get Nintendo's that, not calling it Nesflix. You get, your, you get your lady to come over, and you're just like, yo, babe, hey, you want a Netflix, Netflix, Netflix and, and chill. chill. Nesflix. Yeah. yeah, so that's what the internet is calling right it. off the tongue. So what it is, and you kind of mentioned this before, where you were like, oh, it's three games in rotation or whatever that you get for something. No. What it is, One is it's a subscription. So you subscribe to this to this service, right? And what you get from that is this huge catalog of games that you can just download right to your system and play for as long as you want. However, play as many games as you want, as long as you want for however, whatever. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're a subscriber, you have access to them indefinitely for just for subscribing. So it's almost like the Xbox Game Pass, but just with via this online subscription mm -hmm. and it has also then since come out i don't know if you guys mentioned this in the video but it is officially confirmed from nintendo that this is not replacing the virtual console nice. so that's good so this nes flix is not a replacement for the virtual console they're going to work in tandem together now what do you think about Netflix and chill this is what he just said yeah could that be the new yeah you know moral conundrum? okay so all those basic girls out there they're gonna be like oh you want to netflix and chill and then you can be like no sit down we're gonna Netflix and chill and then you like whip out a copy of no, you whip out your you switch. whip out your switch, yeah. Of ice hockey, <laughs> that's good. I love it. That's a good game. You're good, yeah. Right, dude. Solid. Confirm, dude. Yeah, cause you're sliding on that ice. You're gonna slide in them DMs. Nintendo World Championship, <laughs> right there. Gold card. Gold Next card. up, point E. We yeah. got eShop deals. Nice. Cool. Okay, what was e that? Deals. Okay, real quick, not to get a lot on a little tangent here, but like, what's shit happened? What, I did that what, never. Are you kidding me? Come the, on. Remember the e the e reader? The e reader, yeah. yeah. For oh, the Game that's Boy, good. that was awesome. That's, look at the show. What happened to the e reader? Uh, it died when nobody bought those Pokemon cards. That's the thing. Is like they really need to bring that back. Yeah. You know. Yeah, they do. It's called amiibo cards. Ooh. Nope. But I no, want the absolutely e not. I want the e reader. I want to well, attach an e reader to the top of my Nintendo Switch. Let's talk about the Game Boy printer. The game, you know, the Game Boy camera printer. All right, greatest like, Nintendo accessories like, ever made. What if you were still using it and you needed an ink for your Game Boy Best printer? Best Nintendo peripherals ever. Go. Game Boy printer? Absolutely. I'm thinking maybe the Super Scope might be up there, actually. It's... <sighs> What's the headset that you put on and then you, like, yell into it? I the... think Ponelli made it. You know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah, but that, that's on Fire! Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Do you remember? I don't remember. I can't remember I what it's called. I was going to the NES Advantage. All right, we're going to show a picture of it right no. here on the screen. Um, Along with all the other junk Wikipedia, on the screen right now. And then the Wikipedia <laughs> article right now. Boom. <laughs> right past. Um, <laughs> it's going right, to take a while. So you got the eShop deals. But yeah, best uh, <laughs> Nintendo peripheral NES. Uh, crap, I just said it. What did I just say? NES. 
whatever it was, the NES uh, stick, and it was like all the extra things for the NES. You remember what that oh, was? Oh, the happened? fight advantage. Oh. NES advantage. That's what it was called. Also, I had a Super NES. Oh, I actually have advantage. one of those. We'll put it on the set next week. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, yeah just they're awesome. I'll, uh, edit yeah, actually, you know, we can just edit in right yeah. here. Yep. Actually, and then while we're at it too, we can just edit in Alex sitting right here next <laughs> to me. Yep. Um, for the actually the entire podcast. So. <laughs> now, final point, number F. Right. Um, okay. I hear you asking, Christian, right now. This service sounds amazing. How much could this possibly cost? $100 a month? $200, $200 a month? No. A mere $20 a year. You're insulting the spirits as the lights flicker. Yeah. I am. It is mere... A mere $20, huh? A year. Tempting. $20 a year. Would, now, would, or would you subscribe $3.99 a month. You don't have a Switch. Are you considering subscribing even though you don't yeah, have a Switch? Yeah, actually. Just yeah. so that way you I'm can gonna, have all the extra I'm going to go NES out games. and to my local GameStop, and I'm going to buy one of those cards tomorrow. <laughs> okay. For something that starts in 2018. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, so it's going to be $20 like a year, which is awesome. I wrote month on here. Let me change it because that would be super crappy. Uh, but yeah, $20 a year. I might even consider year. buying multiple cards. Right. Yeah. Spend $20 yeah. a month on it. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's cool. That's the uh, Nintendo Online service. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. whoop de doo Go watch the other video where they go a little bit more in-depth on it, I hope. You guys went in-depth on it, right? Yeah. In the last video? Yeah. Be right coming through. All right. Uh, this is the Pen Ultimate article. Okay. Blood Bowl 3 coming? Tamagotchi no. coming to the uh, Switch. No. Any more guesses? What's that? Really? Wow, Bully Switch? 2, PS4. Nintendo Switch. Oh. oh! Oh, actually, I foresaw that coming. Did you now? Yeah, I called it. The prophecies were foretold. <laughs> um, no, wait, let's talk about the moral obligations of you foretelling the prophecies. Let's talk about the moral obligations of Bully, because you were we, kind of a dick in that game. Can we, <laughs> Just throwing that out let's, there. Let's talk about the Wii. You were a little bit of a bully Let's in that talk game. About the Wii, shall now, we? when is yeah. LA Noir 2 going to happen? That's the real one that I want to go. to go to the You know when? Oh, Never, because that game sucked. LA Noir 2? Okay. Oh, that's a BJ. We're going to have a well, then, long, then thick, yeah. juicy BJ on LA Noir. You couldn't even run it's, people it's over be that a game. It's a sloppy dude. one. <laughs> it was great. a rock star game that you couldn't even run people over in. It's a rock star game that you accused someone of murder because they had a blood covered shirt, and they said, no, I cut myself shaving. And there's blood all over his shirt. And then it turns out he wasn't it's just, it's just him. It's just up. You just did it in the wrong order. All right. Next up. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is the penultimate news that I still haven't gotten to because you guys were still guessing. Sorry. Um, we right. have confirmed legendary Pokemon and PvP is coming to Pokemon Go this summer. Okay. And they're going to add more value to the teams that you chose. Yawn. So whatever team you chose. It's going to do something different now for each person, as opposed to just giving you different dialogue or whatever when you're appraising a Pokemon. Okay. There's now going to be some type of meaning for uh, for what, what it does, um, which is great. That's awesome. I still play Pokemon Go. We talked about it. We had a whole uh, BJ about mobile games and talked about how awesome Pokemon Go was and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's really cool. Finally, we're getting legendary Pokemon, something everybody's been wanting. We're getting PvP, which is really cool. Now I can finally pull out my Pokemon, make my own theme, play you, Battle. who played for maybe 10 minutes and then got <laughs> mad and then turned it off. Um, Google was harvesting information. I just I, I can't stand for that. I guess. Um, they, you're making the, Google, the Google gods the Google are mad now. No, they agreed. They're like, thank you for noticing, Ryan. <laughs> one one flicker for yes, two flickers for no. <laughs> Stranger things, though. Real um, all right, and now the ultimate news, the final Front point two. that I have. Never mind. I don't have a final point because I shouted them out at the beginning. Because the final point is final form. Coming up next, right here on your favorite Disney channel. DCOM. Um, but no. <laughs> the final... Uh, do you guys remember what DCOMs were? Oh, yeah. Disney Channel original movie. Like Smart House. Lucky the Irish. I didn't have cable back then. Cadet Kelly? The Irish. Come on. Cadet Kelly? <laughs> you guys suck. Halloween Town. Boy. Dude, Town. Halloween Town was the shit. Now, who knows about PB&J Otter? No one. Nobody? That sounds really Max familiar, Kibble. though. Max Cable's big move, dude. Anyway, uh, no, the, the Whoa! My, Spy Kids the Game coming out. Cheetah Girls. Oh, my God. Boys. When did it turn into a Disney Channel podcast? Come on. That's actually uh, what it is now, officially. All right, good. We got the, the sign going across All right, we have right a whole Mickey new Mouse list of articles drawn. to talk about. <laughs> right here. And we're good. Um, all right, but no, the last one was, yeah, shout out again actually to... Actually, put uh, in my hand, like a little, one of those glow sticks. Nintendo Force for doing God's work. <laughs> okay.
All right, we're good. We're done. Next up, final piece of content for this show. The topic. Topic for this week. Blockbuster. What does the rest of 2017 hold for? Nintendo. Blockbuster video. Bankruptcy. Blockbuster video. Yeah. No, the Nintendo Switch. What is 2017 <laughs> okay. hold for the Nintendo Switch? Are they going to fail? Are we going to... Uh, they're not going to fail. They're out. doing fine. No, they're not going to fail. But oh, here's what I would like to do is talk about... A lot of games we want to come out. We, you know, there's Smash. We just got Pokemon announced. We thought a new Pokemon game was coming out. Yep. So I think a good way is... First of all, what came out so far is a question. Because... Tons of shit. Exactly. It's been out for three months, okay? Yep. We've gotten Zelda. And we got tons of good stuff. Exactly. We got Zelda. Yep. Arms Mario is coming Kart. out right on the thing. Arms. Yeah, we got Mario Splatoon's Kart. right around the corner. Exactly. All the indie games that we're getting. Spoilable. All the downloadable stuff is awesome. Shovel Knight. Pokemon all these awesome read. things. Pokemon. Pokemon was just confirmed. Mario Rabbit is supposed to be confirmed. Mario Odyssey is supposed to be coming out this year. Fire, a Fire Emblem Warriors is supposed to be coming out. Do we this think year. Mario Odyssey is actually co- going to come out this year, though? Oh, we know it, was, it is. It yeah, has it, was, to. it is for sure. Yeah. The only thing that's on the fence about coming out this year is Xenoblade Chronicles Two. I think so too. Calling it. I think so too, but uh, a lot of people on that their internet uh, seem to disagree, and I'm like, that's hey, you're internet. freaking wrong. Get out of here. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. But I think I think it's going to be a worldwide worldwide release. Yeah. Because they are all about the worldwide releases right now because they said the same thing about that's what's happening with Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Mm-hmm. It's also a worldwide release. It, was worldwide probably, it probably did a lot to release. help them, too. Ditto. So, what's that? Probably did a lot to help them, too. You know? Yeah, probably. So, I don't know. I think that's very interesting. Um, I think Nintendo will be just fine in 2017, and I really hope that they don't at E3. The more I thought about this, I think E3, the calmer this E3 is mm-hmm. next week, I think the better it is for Nintendo. The Rabbids are going to set the world on fire. I think so. I really think that it no, is literally. possible that Rabbids is the biggest announcement we get at E3 from Nintendo. I really don't think I... Wow, as what much a as sad I, E3. As, as much as I <laughs> want... not disagreeing, but I'm also... As much as I want Metroid, and I want... Luigi's Mansion like 3. As much as you want Pikmin Luigi's Mansion 4. 3. So like that. Maybe the biggest announcement we get is Virtual Console GameCube, and they have some implementation of it. But I think because we've not heard anything about Virtual Console yet, I really don't... I don't know. It might be mentioned at E3. But I don't think it's going to be what we want it to be. I don't think it's going to be all these massive games coming. Ooh. Metroid, I highly doubt, is coming, but maybe we'll be there. I don't know. Maybe I think Metroid Prime. They've already, they've already basically said that their E3 conference, it's only a half hour long. It's 30 minutes. I know I said that in the in one of our other videos, they're too. Going, yeah. They're going to focus Perhaps on another... Games. Exactly, Mario and Golf. they want it to Mario be Golf. just this year, which I absolutely adore that it's just this year. Um, I've been reading on the internet, and some people don't like that, where they want, they're like, yes, release it, like, show me the game, tell me it exists, let me see a snippet of it, and then go away for five years and make it. I, guarantee, I, I can't stand that. Have a small teaser for one thing next year, but sure, there will be one game unannounced that has not been leaked that we don't know about, and it will be a trailer at the end of the video, yep. and Paper it's going to be a, hey, here's one more thing, and it's going to blow our minds, yep. And but it won't be Metroid. Probably There's not. no way it'll be Metroid. It's going to be whatever Retro's working. It will be whatever they're doing. Yeah, they're doing and I swear to God, if they are doing a racing game or a fighting game, Metroid I'm racing. going to lose my mind maybe, maybe in the Metroid worst way possible. The if it's the next F-Zero, and that's what sucks, is that I can't be mad that there's another F-Zero, and everybody's going to love it. But it's like, we don't need more racing games. We have Fast RMX. We have Redout that is essentially the exact same thing as F Zero is coming this. We have Mario Kart. We have some of those Neo Geo games Mario that Golf. are like racing games. We have too many racing games. We have too many fighting games. We don't need any more. And that's why I think this is gonna happen and I bet the Nintendo Directs will keep flowing throughout the year. It's gonna happen. All right. Nintendo does not like E three anymore. They don't need to be there. They're doing just a thirty minute presentation. The treehouse is going to focus primarily on the on games surprises. that are coming out soon. Surprises in the treehouse. Exactly. And so that's stuff that's going to happen. Exactly. Exactly. Like and loud noises. Loud, stuff like plenty that. of loud noises. Yeah. Um, Confetti. Stuff like that. That'll be great. That'll be fine. Whatever. And clearly E3 is their focus on the rest of 2017. Then as 2017 goes on, maybe in November or something, mm-hmm. we hit an anniversary or something. I don't know. We get a direct about it. Hey, look out for this in quarter two of 2018. Animal Crossing, or hey, whatever, and then maybe next year hey, is when we get. Next year is going to be Pokemon RPG, uh, you know, 
more credibility. Animal Crossing, Metroid can happen at E3 next year. Kirby's like, coming back. Stuff is gonna happen next year. Donkey this Kong. year, we need everybody needs to bring their expectations for this year's E3 down so much in that you really need to be preparing for this to be the year of ports. The year of letdown. We really will get more ports, I believe, before we get more right, awesome here. stuff. Biggest announcement yeah, of ahead. E3 right here. Sega's announcing their new system. All right. <laughs> the it. Nintendo Switch 2. No. Sega is making... I know, and they're going to the call Pichita. it the Nintendo Switch The predecessor... Two. To the Dreamcast. To the Dreamcast, baby. Right here. Woo! Called it. That's where the surprise... And it's going to happen during the Nintendo Treehouse. It's going to have it the right there, too. Happen. Reggie's going to come out and just be like, Sega announces that their new console He's going to be like, be... Sega, touch his face a little bit, then we get a few points <laughs> on the Super Gem podcast, and then he keeps going out. There you go. You heard it here first. So uh, All right, so is that what you think? And the Time rest Splitters of 2017 3. is going to happen? Yeah. Maybe Time Splitters 3. Not 100% sure. Great vibe. I thought you had a whole part for this topic, <laughs> which is why we're talking about it. Remember we were talking about it the other night. I thought, you had so much, I thought you had so much more. No, it was Your exactly kind of what I was saying. Is like, Especially with the Pokemon Direct, we were hoping for, hey, stars. And I completely agree. It's out of the realm of reality just because there are so many 3DSs out there, which it makes complete sense from like a financial standpoint. Mm -hmm. It's like... They have. It's not that they have really anything to lose, but there's more to gain by releasing it on 3DS. Little Samson exactly. sequel. Not a bad idea. Billy Hatcher. Oh, that'd be so good. Every Billy Hatcher and the Billy Jedi Hatcher Raider. Racing. So they have nothing to lose. Okay, and then I thought back, and it's like, okay, like we want a new Pokemon game, and we kind of want them to be like, hey, get, like get it out ASAP, basically, you know? Which is odd because now they're gonna give us Sun, like Sun and Moon Ultra, and what's the whole thing? Keep them away from me as far as I can get. But if they showed us stars, it would be like. Can you just get it out next month? You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is an interesting mentality because we were kind can of saying, we can we please talk about the the moral conundrum? relationship there of why everyone hates Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon but would love stars. I think it's the word Ultra. I think I it think is Michelob. I think no, I don't think it's because of Michelob, but I think because Sun and Moon are still thinking. Now, if they would have said Sun two and Moon two, I feel like people wouldn't be wouldn't be able to. It's upset. the word Ultra. And that, it's the word Ultra that they think they're just getting a remixed version of what they've already played. Exactly. Which is like, but that as the list that I read in the other video that you need to watch and check out because that was an awesome discussion. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's what they've been doing literally since the inception of Pokemon. What? The only time that did something different was black and white. Let's talk about like the cool words though that they put in like video game titles, right? You got like Super, Ultra. You got Ultra, Tournament. You got New. You got they put yeah Mega, Mega Double Need Giant Chibi. Yeah, I was gonna say Metal Chibi too. Infinity, or even adventure. No, I'm saying like descriptive, like words. Two. You know? Melee. Yeah. <laughs> Air ride. God, these are this great is just words. the one that just drags on forever. <laughs> like we're this is a, this is the show that just runs it into the ground. No, I'm waiting you for you to finish. Okay, your no. Points. So then I go back, and it's like we want the new like a new Pokemon game would be like okay, let's get this out the door asap. But they give us Sun and Moon Ultra, which are kind of like no, hold that back for as long as you want. I would kind of don't want it, you know. But then I think back, and it's like, they've given us so much on the Switch this year, and so much still coming, mm -hmm. where they really don't even owe us anymore. You totally agree. If that makes sense. Yeah, totally So agree. then it was kind of like, what before when we were speculating, like, okay, if Stars comes out, what the, the lineup is Arms comes out in June, mm -hmm. Splatoon in July, mm -hmm. potentially Rabbids in August. Yep. So do we got anything slated for September? I don't September? think anything is in Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pokemon Z. Tournament. Pokemon Tournament in September. Pokemon okay. Z. Or Pokemon Z. Mm hmm yeah, they go back a generation and pull that one out. That'd be good. October, anything? Uh, nothing yet. Luigi's Mansion 3. Oh, I bet it will. Because everything else has a slate, so Fire Emblem Warriors. Or maybe a Metroid coming out around there for the Halloween season. You know, Maybe. Maybe something cool. like that. But yeah, so we'll say Fire Emblem Warriors, parentheses. That's fine. And then works. November. November's going to be Mario. Mario Odyssey. And then December is, uh, yep. Exactly. And so, so I thought that, and it's like they are consistently started off with Zelda right out the gate. Mm-hmm. Because that was March. Yep. April was... Mario Kart. Mario Kart. May... Was nothing, because Mario Kart was at the end of... Yeah, that was like Ninja April. Month. Poyo Poyo. Was, was March, or was April. Nothing came out in May. Disgaea. No, that was... I mean, nothing exclusive. Disgaea did... It was, enough. but that's not... I mean, that's kind of exclusive, but whatever. But yeah, exactly. But good I mean, enough. And but then, so my whole Mario point Kart of this still. is, like, straight out from the gate, it's been going full speed. Yeah. But we expect so much, and it's just like... We owe Nintendo the apology, right? Have we gotten a Pilot Wings yet? That's a really good point. Uh, no, but there was on, one on 3DS. Did yeah, exactly. That? The 3DS actually that's, launched that's with one, one of those. Exactly, on my Aqua so. Blue 3DS. Yeah. yeah. So, 
I totally agree with you. I think Nintendo really doesn't owe us anything right now because we're getting all these awesome titles already. So it's like, all those titles you just mentioned, you're playing. Yeah. Now, I want to throw this out there, respond in the comments. How many of you out there watching, and how many people in the world, is the Nintendo Switch their only video game console? Mm -hmm. Probably a all big fat them. zero. Okay. Um, I know you have a PS4 and an Xbox One. Mm -hmm. You probably have a PS4. Mm -hmm. You definitely have a PS4. Right, right. You know, Alex, I know you play a bunch on Xbox. Yeah. It's like, great. You have all these games that are still coming out this fall for those other consoles. Would you seriously have time for Pokemon Stars on your Switch, this huge RPG of Pokemon, for that? In addition to Mario Odyssey that's coming out a month before, yeah. which is going to have probably 200-some-odd stars in there. Um, you're going to have... Xenoblade that's coming out a month afterwards. Mm -hmm. You've got the new Call of Duty. You've got Destiny. You've got all these huge games that are still coming out this year. Why would you want to put Pokemon in there and cannibalize it like that? Why would you not want Pokemon to come out in March? Like plenty of other releases because did. Pokemon like I such did. A huge when nothing contender. else is coming out. Yeah. Right, but when nothing else is coming out in March and you are the only thing in March, everybody, regardless of if they own a Switch and a PS4 or whatever, their money is going right to Pokemon in March when their money's not going to anything else. Mm -hmm. If it releases in November, yeah, you might like Pokemon more than Call of Duty, but everybody on your street doesn't, who doesn't have a Switch is playing Call of Duty, and you want to be part of the zeitgeist. You want to be in there day one. It's like the same reason you said, why buy Injustice at $60? Because you want to you're be there right now. You're, pay, you're paying for the initial Those hype populated of being servers. there. Right. You are paying... For the convenience of having everything be there at your fingertips day one. You're paying for those you know day I mean? one bugs. Exactly. Day one updates. And so it's like, of course, you're getting all that too. Yeah. So you're not going to spend your $60 on Pokemon when you're going to spend it on Call of Duty that you can play online with your friends. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Pokemon, that's a single player experience. Oh, cool. Spring is around. Nothing big's really coming out, which it wasn't the case for this year, but maybe next year it will be. And you know, nothing's coming out. Cool. That's the perfect time to kill stuff. Right before summer vacation, you're kill taking time. the Switch on your go, stuff like that. It is the perfect time to kill time mm -hmm. with a Pokemon game. So I think something like that's probably more than likely how it's going to happen. Now, I think we call out Pokemon, okay? And they should start 2018 should be the year of releasing a Pokemon game every month based on the month. You know, like on the cover, it's got Pokemon January. And oh. the unknown spell out January, maybe like 20 new Pokemon for the month of January. February comes around. Pokemon February. And throughout the entire year, 12 new Pokemon games. Terrible idea. That is a terrible idea. idea. That will not happen ever. That's an awful idea. That'd be so good. <laughs> That'd be cool if they weren't, if they were download only. You know how they bad were, those Pokemon if would they be? Were 10, if they were 10 bucks each and download only, then I'm there. Oh my god. But if it's a full it would just $40 be like a black release, blob for like a Pokemon. You collect them like everything else. Yeah. I would, dude. Fucking dude, you're, sp you're supposed to be helping me get through this, no. this curse right here. And here you're instigating me. Yeah. Thanks, man. I feel like this is going to help you in the long run, though. I Probably. feel like, okay, um, in the comment section. Cut the feed. In the comment section, just tell uh, Faluco that he is an absolute <laughs> addict and he needs to stop. He needs your guys' help. All right, I'm going to start a Patreon for him. We're going to get it. He needs more than a Patreon. So. Yeah. Any professional help. Yeah. Starting with the therapist. All right, well, thanks for watching the episode, guys. Uh, really appreciate you. Um, All right, so we are wrapping it up there. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking out to the end. And remember, as I shouted at the beginning of this video, share this. Tweet at Game Over Greggy. Tell him I'm calling him out. I appreciate it. He will not watch this. But. Oh, he will. If all 45 of you who are viewing this video do it, I'd appreciate it. But, again, that wraps up another wonderful episode of Nintendo Nation. We had some good discussions here. Talking about Pokemon online services, things like that. Run through the news of the week. Um, make sure you subscribe to so keep up to date and all that. Leave a comment down below about any comments, concerns, anything like that. Share the other videos that we shouted out, like our Pokemon discussion, like our online discussion, things like that. Um, we also have an awesome Wonder Woman review coming up soon. That was really cool, so check that out. Um, and also check out Super Gem Podcast, where we talk about all the other gaming news that happened uh, this past week. And so the least important and podcast. Overwatch, yeah, tons and tons of Overwatch, the world's best RPG. All right, JRPG. thanks for watching. And peace out. Uh,